What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we took on North Carolina and it was a pretty wild game. Offensively, North Carolina done their job, especially in the second quarter and in the second half it was close as well, but if it wasn't for that first quarter jump that we had, we probably would have got beat. Just a great game overall between two teams and I'm glad we got the victory. We're still undefeated at 9-0, 7th in the country. But we're taking on the best team, supposedly, in the country in number one, Virginia Tech. Nine-game win streak, A-minus overall talent, and their stats show that. 16th best offense of the country with a heavy emphasis on the run. And the top two rushing attacks in the country are facing off today. Should be a whole lot of fun there. Neither team pass all that much. Total defense, 32 in the in the country. And they really are pretty good at shutting down the run game. So it should be interesting to see how we handle that offensively. But perhaps the most important stat is they're the best team in the country in terms of turnover differential. So it's going to be quite the challenge. It's going to be a whole lot of fun, and I can't wait to get into it. Now, they are number one in the country, but what's interesting is if you go to the previous week and see who Virginia Tech played. They just beat number four, Miami, or at the time, I guess they were probably switched. Miami, I think, was still number one. Either way, just a crazy game, 45-42. to 42. So here's what we're going up against, a team that is knocking off top five teams. So it's going to be interesting, to say the least, but exciting as well. All right, let's go to NC's recruiting. And we're down to one player, Keith Magruder, middle linebacker. We got all of our points on him, and we're just waiting for him to take a visit to, to the Tulane game, which is next week, if I'm not mistaken. So our instance recruiting has been amazing so far. We already got seven commitments. That's going to be over, well over half of this season's class. And adding Magruder to the fold wouldn't hurt my feelings whatsoever. All right, let's go to Sports Illustrated, check out a few other things. Bowl rankings, top team of the country, Virginia Tech. Maybe we can knock them off today. And look at that. We're slowly going up there. We're eighth in the country with three more games to go. You beat Virginia Tech, and things will get very interesting, to say the least. Let's go to Heisman Watch. Wow, three Miami players are on this list. A halfback, a wide receiver, and a quarterback. I don't know if I've ever seen that before, to be honest. I mean, there's halfback, 21 total touchdowns, over 1,100 yards. And they've already played just nine games. they got three games left. Wide receiver, almost 1,000 yards, 11 touchdowns. And their quarterback has already got 25 touchdowns, Paul Atkinson. So, wow, that's a very talented team, especially in the backfield and at their skill positions. Really interesting. Again, I don't think I've ever seen three from the same team on in the top five before. Pretty cool. Award semifinalists, we're only down to a few awards. We're up for a few awards, I should say. The Maxwell, Gladhar's third. His last couple games have been absolute killer. Anytime you're getting over 200 yards rushing in a game, you're going to get noticed. So you go to the Walker. There he is at number two. And then the rest of the awards don't mean a whole lot to us outside of the Coach Award, where we're still number one. As long as we stay undefeated, we should have a chance to win this one. We can go to our team information screens. And Simmons, we've done a good job of not turning the ball over, throwing interceptions, so he's now got nine touchdowns to his five interceptions. Gladhar is now averaging about 150 yards a game, 14 touchdowns. You look at our defense, Potts, Mitchell, and Schroeder, the big three, are still doing their thing. Now let's go check out Virginia Tech. This should be interesting. We go right here. They have no injuries. Their quarterback, 24 touchdowns, only four interceptions. And they don't even throw the ball much, and he already has 24 touchdowns. So that's pretty impressive. Running the ball. Bale with 126 yards average, 11 touchdowns. Wide receiver, their top guys got over 650 yards. You look at their defense, like they got three guys that are doing their thing at Hines, Smith, and Turner. So... That doesn't tell me a whole lot other than they have nobody that's injured. And they're just very talented, apparently. 
I think that is it. We can go ahead and take on Virginia Tech. Oh, we got a heavy rain game. For some of you who've had any serious weather in our games all season. Heavy, heavy rain. We're looking at rainy skies and cold temps for our game tonight between the Murray State Racers and the Virginia Tech. Game of the week. It's been a long time since I've seen that. We're ready to bring you another incredible matchup as the season starts to wind down. We'll see which teams will be left standing after it's all said and done. And here come the Hokies. I guess you're not going to play Inner Sandman. <laughs> Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. Virginia Tech. That's the bail kid, the running back. That means getting the running back maybe 25 or 30 touches today. If they do that. We're going to try to shut him down as best we can. I've been quiet about it, but I think it's finally time for my pick. And they're picking the Hokies as expected. Right. Let's go to the coin toss. We won it. I want the ball start of the second half. Okay, let's check out their roster. This should be interesting. Corey Holt, starting quarterback, 88 overall, 78 speed. So I'm not, I'm very hesitant to blitz against that guy. We'll see how often he runs. 78 speed is fast enough for me not to want to blitz super hard. But this is the guy we got to shut down. Maybe the best halfback in the country. 5'10", 230, 96 overall, 89 speed. His strength is 80, just a bulldozer of a halfback. And his backup is 90 overall. Must be nice. With the backup, the third guy is 88 overall. Fullback, pretty strong there. I mean, I assume he'll block most of the day. Wide receivers, a bunch of guys in the 80s. Pretty good little group. Some speed to go with that. They got height and speed of their top two guys. 6'3", for both. And 94, 92 for the speed. Tight end. They looks like they just have one guy. I don't expect much from him. He's 80, you know, overall. He can catch a little bit. But he's more blocker than anything. I know it says balance on his tendency, but I don't expect him to catch the ball a ton today. Look at their offensive line. They got 89, 82, 90, 80, and 82. That's not the most talented offensive line out there. A lot of guys in the 80s. Their best player apparently is their more like their center, maybe their left tackle. But that's not overly threatening. Their tackles are really big. Now, I did not do any scouting, but they are a 4 3 team. I'm pretty sure they are. And they run the ball, they're balanced, that type of thing. So defensively, here's probably where their strength is really at 90. At left end and 91 at right end. So their two defensive ends are really stout. Look at their defensive tackles. 84, 82, 82. And a... Linebackers, you got 84, 89, and 92. You look at their corners. Maybe the best corner in the country. Victor Harris, true senior. 95 overall, 96 speed. The number two guy has 99 speed. Just insane. 92 overall. And it's a kind of a drop off after that, but that's not really saying much since their four string guy is just 80 overall. Still pretty talented. And free safety, 97 overall. Maybe the best free safety in the country at 90 speed. That guy is about as perfect as a free safety as you can see right there. He's big, he's fast, and he seems to be pretty smart. Imagine he was even faster than 90. That's, that's still quite an impressive free safety. Probably the best one we'll face all season. And their strong safety is 87 overall. No slouch there. And they got good backups behind him. They got a really good kicker, redshirt senior. And they got a pretty good punter, 82 overall. So their defense is just incredible. That's all you could say about that. So we're going to just play our game, try our best to win. We'll see if we can get it done. We're going to do a high kick. I don't want them returning in any time soon. Play. Calls for the fair catch. He talk to him. Can go right here. To do with a fair catch. Well, Kirk, I think I got a tackle there. They may not have given it to me, but I nudged into him. Toss, they will run. That's a good stop. Cross your fingers. Love to get a stop here. I'm surprised they played that or made that call. Interesting. 
teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. It's on That's a punt and a half right there. Somebody get a block on the right. Long fields it at the 13. Man, just get out of bounds. Don't want him to get a hit and fumble. Okay, we're gonna go man, or we're gonna go basic power option. I like the shifting. So we're gonna go this way. Good block right there. Killer run by Davidson. That's as good a start as you can ask for. Look at this instant replay here. Pitched that right at the last second, and he's off to the races. Yes, sir, Reed. And they're going zone. I want to read that. <clears throat> I want to read that corner on the right. We'll go to our right here. That's a good stop on defense. So it's third and three, maybe. Run a little clock here. And I try to pitch it, it wouldn't do it. That's okay. We got the first down. Get it down to a few seconds. Didn't see much up the inside there. And now he pitches it. Get a first down. Good play there. Incredible effort. Simmons. Set to go to the air. That's good defense. Good speed. That linebacker came with the heat. Let's see if we can get some good blocking here. Six points. Good deal. That's a, as good a start as I can ask for both defensively and now offensively. Nice pitch at the last second. I'm surprised he was accurate with the pitch. Get the extra point off. Nice and clean. Just keep it away from any of their returners. Just not worth it. He's just bouncing off everybody. I think four guys hit him. We're going to take a chance on an under front. No. The went halfback read. We'll take it. That's a bad play. 4-4. Four, four. Play action. Somebody get to him. Get to him. Sack. Huge play. Let's see if they show a replay here. Looks like they're not going to. Looks like Potts got the no Abdullah with the sack. Great play. Look at this replay right here. Nice. They went with that. You can go back and look at this. They went with the left-handed version of this play, and it's a slow play action. And the quarterback's right-handed, and it just takes him forever to get back around. You got to pay attention to those play action plays when they're doing stuff like that. Make sure you're going in the right direction with the default play. And every one of these play action plays in the game are to the are right handed, more or less. There's a few that aren't. He gets it off. Long fields it Just don't fumble it. Alright, that's the end of the quarter. Pretty quick. Yep, they're going zone four three. We'll just go to our right here. Get some yards out of it. Just came on through. I had no time to do anything there, so kudos to them. Just enough to get the first down. Good blocking here. Great blocking. Get a block. Go, go, go. Big play. Huge. Great play by Gladhart. Amazing block by Davidson. Look at this block up there up top. Right there, just enough. Get an extra 25 yards out of it. Our fullback out to give him some space. And intercept. Mm. I got hit as soon as I threw it. Somebody came through. A little cross block. A little... Ah, dang it. I called the wrong one. I, I motioned the wrong guy. We'll go this way. Ooh, just, that was scary. Yeah, we're going to run to our right here. And a fumble. Dang it. I don't know what happened there. I don't know. It's just a bad pitch. 
He pit look, he pitched it like that, and the guy got in the way of it. Wow. I pitched it too early. Or too late, I guess. Dang it. Now watch them make a difference here. It's a good stop. We'll take that any day of the week. Two tight end set. Bell takes a pick. Just a killer stop. Our defense is playing great right now. I'm going to do our cloud. And they're running the ball. Nah, dang it. I was not expecting that. Third and seven, they just run it. They come out with three wide receivers. Looking. Throw short. It's a good throw. Right over the middle. Man beater. Second and five. You think they're probably going to throw at this point. I didn't think about that. I probably should have went. We'll take it, though. They went toss. That's why I don't like to call toss, because it plays like that. Thank the Lord it went out of bounds. Good deal. So they are going to punt this. Ooh. That was close. Wow. Oh, my gosh. At the seven. Good. I thought it was going to be at the one. That kind of threw me off there. So we're going to let our running game dictate what we do for the rest of the drive. Yeah, probably didn't need to pitch it there, but that's okay. Do basic option here. Oh, my gosh. Keep going. Let's get out of bounds. He was going to get caught. An amazing play. Wow. Awesome play. I wasn't expecting him. Just a killer block by Anderson right there. Thankfully, we got out of bounds, so we don't have to waste a timeout. So I'm going to go with QB choice here. They're going zone, and I forgot to do my sub package. We're going to have to keep this with the quarterback. Simmons. Ah, just don't, yeah, just don't fumble it. But I'm going, I need a, I probably should have called the timeout. Let's hurry this up if we can. We're going to pitch it this time instead of just handing it, instead of doing basic option. That'll give, give uh, Simmons a rest, but a great play right there. Or uh, Clark over. Back to pass. He's looking for his man, and it's caught. Killer play right there. That's exactly what we needed on the six-yard line. 23 seconds to go. Okay, we're going halfback power. We're going to go to our left here. Great defense. Let's hurry up to the line and run the same play. We'll go to the right this time. Oh my gosh, touchdown. Up two scores, baby. Incredible. Our run game is just killer right now. Get this extra point off. And let's survive these next six seconds if we can. Then we go to halftime. We'll get the ball in the third quarter. Do another high kick. So I'm going to, just in case, I don't think they're going to. Yeah, it looks like they may. He's going to go with it. Good stop, though. They may call a timeout. They got one second left. One second left, so we will just go. And I'm going to go after this guy with Mitchell. Oh, my gosh. I was right there. Watch him make a play right here. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. So close. That's a killer effort by that receiver. Schroeder didn't, he didn't even try. Yeah, he tried, but it just didn't work. Somehow, well, what, somehow, some way, we got out of that situation. <laughs> okay, let's look at some stats real quick. Offensively, we're doing our thing. They are too kind of, sort of, but we're, our, we're kind of shutting them down defensively. They're on average less than three yards a carry. We had the one turnover, and we're still up two scores. Right now, our defense is what's killing it. And they need to after that embarrassing performance from last game. Let's look at Simmons. He's thrown it three times, 22 yards. Rushing, this is where it's at right here. Seven, six, and five, the three-headed monster. Everybody's doing their thing there. And I'm liking the attempts. That's what I wanted to see right there. 
Okay. Up two scores. We're getting the ball back. Let's go right down the field, see if we can score again. I have no reason to change anything. I'm going to just stay right here. It's not worth it. I don't feel comfortable running on that one. They're two impact secondary players. I had to pitch that one off really quick. Just get a stiff arm there. Great little play right here. The defense was doing a good job, but thankfully I pitched it just in time. Okay, we're going to go triple out of flex twins. The clock has stopped, so we're going to go ahead and run this thing. Good little play right here. We could break this part down. I normally don't call a lot of triple. I like to do it at this formation just because it's flex bone and it's fun. But what I saw right here, let's bring out my little teleprompter. Is nor in the past I'd always do like man, I'll probably keep it zone, I'll probably go to the dive. But I always just look for a hole because you just never know. There's no real consistent thing to do other than see if there's a hole. And I'm seeing a hole like right here. So I just felt the need to hand it off to Gladhar and let him handle it. Right there, that's a big enough hole for me to give it to him. And they're going man. So this is a perfect example because I had a question from somebody or a comment saying they like to go to keep it with the quarterback if it's man and give it to the fullback if it's zone. But this is a perfect example of how they're going to man. Yeah, look what happens. I see a huge hole right there, and it was well worth just giving it to him against man. First down, good deal. Let the clock roll down a little bit. We'll run to the right. Get a great block right there. Incredible block. Somebody picked that block up nicely. It was Myers. What a great fullback he's been for us the last couple seasons, both in blocking and in catching the ball. Just a killer block. Makes all the difference in the world on those runs. Just a better isolated situation. And just get a few yards. They went, they went cover zero, but I didn't want to go to Myers right here because, look, this guy was on him, and that's a matchup problem that we just don't want. So it just made sense to go over to the left of Clark. I am going to keep it with the quarterback. This is a pre-snap thing for me. It's just not my best interest, best interest to keep this with David Davidson. So we're going to do like this. Get a block right there. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I don't know what happened here. It was good execution. I thought my pulling guard was going to get that linebacker, but he didn't. And the linebacker just blew me up. Linebacker. He was a little late getting to the ball in the first two quarters. He might be playing too cautious out there. He just needs to go out and have some fun. That's a great stop right there. We're doing a great job on their running back right now. I don't want to do an under front yet. Get a stop, somebody. Okay, third and four. Got to get a stop here. Ah, first down. He tackled him into it. Back to a one high we go. Uh-oh. Schroeder saved the day right there. Good little spin move by the tight end. Nice little play. Off the turnover. And there's halfback toss. Somebody stop it. There you go. They got a few yards out of it, but not a whole lot. Still doing one high fronts or defenses. Good stop. That halfback replay just never works. Going cloud as usual. Oh my gosh, great play. We got to break all this down. There was two great plays here about the quarterback first. You see right here, we can zoom in. You snap the ball and here I am. And I'm going through the A gap right here. And I get around, and I'm thinking, hey, I may get a sack with my third-string defense tackle, but the quarterback moves away just enough to avoid the sack. Kudos to him. But thankfully, Simmons is able to make a stop right here with a good swat. So it's fourth down. They're going for it. I don't blame them because they're just out of reach, and they're too short for a punt. Sack him. Sack him. Oh, my gosh, with a sack. Good job, Al, by Kennedy. What a play. I was not expecting to get a sack right there. Incredible. 
Let's see if they show an instant replay and they wheel right up close, right showing his butt. Looks like what, what we all want to see there. Awesome play, though. They somehow was not able to take advantage of our turnover. Let's see if we could take advantage of their turnover on downs. Uh-oh. We got some room. Can he get there? I'm going to let him hold on to it. Killer run by Simmons. Just let him keep it. Great play. Awesome run right there. Do her a little motion. And just don't fumble it. Ah, good little play. He got more yards than I thought. Good defense. He was all over it. All right, end of the third quarter. Put your fingers up. Time for the fourth. That impact safety is up top, and I want Gladhart to touch it. Oh, I didn't get it. Didn't get it. We'll kick an extra field goal. Just enough. I think that was a smart move. Okay, we're going to go quarters because they got a pass now. I mean, they're down three scores, and they got a, a quarter to go. Nope, they're going to run the ball. Okay, we'll go back for a one high then. Interception, huge play. My goodness, this game's over with. I mean, good luck coming back from that. Killer play by the freshman, Crosby. Wow. Look at this play, Roy. This may not be the best showing of it. He just got in front of it. Just a bad throw. Okay. We're going to go to our base play. I probably should just hand it off here, but they're going zone. We'll go to our left. We'll just cut up field here. Just get eight yards, eight or nine. And that's why you cut up the B gap. What I'm doing here, whenever, especially they're going zone in this situation, I'm looking at this guy right here. And if he goes this way, I'm cutting up. If he goes this way, I'm cutting out that way. And if you notice, as soon as you snap the ball, what does he do? He's cutting in right here, so it just makes sense for me to cut up right there. And I'm not using the speed button or anything. I'm just trying to get the first down. And when you don't use the speed button, you got a better chance of breaking tackles as such. I'm going to get a wide receiver out of the way. Just give us a little more room to work with on the left. Just a simple run. First down. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there. Running the it's just been our day running the ball. They're just having a hard time stopping it. We're going to go QB choice. I'm just going to hand this one off, but I may have to cut up pretty quick depending on what that defensive end does. Good blocking right here. Great little run. What I'm doing here is just reading this guy right here. If he makes any type of penetration, I got no choice but to go up right here. But thankfully... Our tackle gets a good block in order for me to go out this way. So you snap the ball, and just good blocks all around. Johnson had a good block right there, and then I got all this room to run. This has been by far the best play we've ran of this particular play, best execution of it so far. I can't believe we just won this game fairly handedly. Just their offense couldn't do anything today. Our defense really stepped up. Let's just cut in. Just don't want to fumble it. So we got a few yards on that carry. You know what, guys? If you can. Davidson gets the call again. It's good defense right there. Picks up a yard. Ah, good defense. Just nobody was able to pick him up. This is a heads-up play by the. Drops back to pass. And just, yeah, we try to get something out of it, but not a whole lot. And 20 to nothing. Wow, what a game. Everything went right. Wow, 
fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 33. So we're just going to run basic quarters going forward. I assume they're going to throw it, but like it matters at this point. They may just run it and be done with it. Yep, they're just going to run it. They've given up. Now they may call a timeout right here, but. And they are still going to run the ball, and he may take off with it. They may get their points after all here at the last bit. Do something funky here. Go and play action. That actually helped us, just in case that guy decides to run it. And they're going to run the ball. That's fine. End the game like that. Okay, 20 to nothing. We beat the number one team in the country, and I feel like we're the best team in the country. It's starting to feel like it. So I'm super excited about the win. I'm sure you are. We can look at some stats really quick, and we can talk about some things. Right now, this kind of showed me that it may be time for me to increase some sliders. And we can talk a little bit about that here in a minute. Let's go to game stats. Again, just offensively, we've done our thing on the ground. 322 yards, just killed it. They just couldn't stop it. Our pass game was really good. Five or six, we got 38 passing yards, but we kept it clean. We had two turnovers, and we still won a 20 to nothing. But it's our defense that was the hero of the day. You go to individual stats. You go to individual rushing, 13 attempts, 137 yards for Glenn Haar. Davidson had a good day with 100 yards, and two, he had the two touchdowns. But I want to go to the defense. It's these guys right here who've done everything for us. Look at all these guys who made tackles today. But it's the guys up top. McBride actually was our lean tackler, which is pretty interesting. Look at our tackle for loss. We had a lot of tackle for loss. This is why we played so well. We had so many negative plays, or they had negative plays because of us. We had two sacks. Again, our defense killed it. Okay, come on back. In our next Dynasty video, we'll take on Tulane. We're 10-0, and, and we're going to be in the top five somewhere. It's just incredible what good season we've had. I won't make any changes slider-wise until the offseason. It's just not, I'll wait until then. I have a good idea of what I'm going to change, and I think I can keep it pretty simple. We'll just see how that goes. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.